Hawaiian bracelets were introduced to us in the 1800s, the late 1800s. There's many stories about how the Hawaiian bracelet came to be. One of them is um, that Queen Liliokalani was gifted by Queen Victoria with a bracelet to, um, in remembrance of their friendship. They used a lot of um, the different flowers and different scrolling work on the bracelets. It would be a bracelet with uh, hibiscus flowers with um, some type of engraving, some scroll work. Uh, the designs back then were more uh, basic and simple. They used a simple hammer and chisel type to, to, to do the designs. And then over the years, we got into the mechanical stuff and they used a, a jackhammer. So it's a, a you know, mechanical hammer, so it's a lot smoother and a lot more detail can go into it, a lot deeper. Real simple designs, but when they came back here, they brought some of the Hawaiian motifs to it, the, the flowers, the different scrolls, and made it more of our own. It, it kept the, the, the basic of the Old English with the Old English letters, the black enamels, uh, which represented uh, the mourning of Prince, Prince Albert's death. Uh, so they kept the Old English letters and the black enamel, but everything else pretty much came, came from Hawaii. The local traditions of it is people purchasing it for birthdays, anniversaries, um, weddings, graduation. I think people hold on to these traditions because so many of our traditions have been disappearing. But the bracelet is something that they, we can hold on to, what we call our own. When you go to the mainland, you always know someone's local when they have, when you see a Hawaiian bracelet on. So the way the Hawaiian bracelets are made is we first take a, a strip, strip of gold, um, then we cut the letters. Uh, the only thing we do by machine is that we cut the letters and the inside engraving. And then we uh, form it in, together in the bag, we solder it. And the trick is to get rid of that, uh, that solder mark so you don't see it. It takes a little bit of uh, skill and effort to do it. Give it a first polish. We give it to an engraver and the engraver uh, draws out the uh, design that they're going to do. And then once that's all done, it, you know, they're engraving it using a very sharp uh, metal knife. Fill in the letters with black enamel. And uh, we got a finished product then. Talk about the Renaissance of Hawaii and just uh, go, go for it. No, I'm well. I'm a Hala guy. That's it. No, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> go ahead. No, thanks. Go ahead. This is a time test. Yeah. Yeah. I'm 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 at a loss right now. <laughs>